mod ones, probably shouldn't have started it. Mod ones like leftovers will be like out in quad if you want to grab them. <laughs> That's how we're going to start this lecture. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Capybara. Great. So here's our goals for today, right? We want to talk about how and why we use the MVC uh, framework or pattern all right, in designing our web applications with Sinatra and with Rails. We're going to define what they are. And then um, we're going to talk a little bit more about CRUD. And I'm going to introduce something to you called RESTful routing. Right? So what is the model as you understand it so far? OK, good notes. Yeah. It, it literally does not matter. Basically, you have your address defined separate, I guess, like the section that the separate thing. The model is the back end, the logic, the program, the view is the front end, what the user actually receives, and the control is what the back end is. It routes. Yeah, that's really, really good. Um, so the model, right, think of the model as just a representation of your data. Right, the model talks to the database, and what does the controller do? Have you have you seen like have you read the um, like the waiter analogy yet? All right, so what is the controller? So it's basically the like intermediary between the model and the view, which is like what the user interacts with and sees. So it deals with like requesting requests and response and stuff like that. So Cool, right? This would be what I would describe as like the go-between. All right, cool. Can you see this? Is this cool? All right, so it's the go-between. It's going to talk to the model. It's going to get the information from the database from the model, and then it's going to serve it to the view. Are there any questions on that whatsoever? This will make more sense as we start to write the code, but that's just kind of like how we're defining it right now. Yeah? Awesome. We're going to talk about how Sinatra serves up data. I talked a lot about the intro to the internet lecture about you making a GET request, the server doing something, and then sending you back a response. Right? We're going to talk a little bit about how Sinatra does that processing and then sending back that response. Cool. And then what is the CRUD actions as it maps to RESTful routing? So who knows what RESTful routing is? Have you gotten that? Far yet? No? Yes? No? OK. Great. So I'll just tell you. Cool? So RESTful routing right, just stands for RE, right? Cool. So um, this is how like good acronyms work, right? We just steal the first two letters of uh, the first word and then just the first letter for the rest of them. Cool. This is good practice over here. You mean you mean this? Cool. Is that what you're laughing at? My spelling mistake? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I make spelling errors all the time. Ooh, wait till we get to blogs. I'm gonna be like a hawk in your blogs. I'm like, oh, is that a spelling error? I'll be quick, quick to point. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. So all this means is representational state transfer. It's just a representation of the current state of your application. Meaning when I was on songs, right, the songs URL, the songs path, I saw all my songs. I didn't see any of my artists, and I didn't see any of that like 404 weird like meme error guy. All I saw was whatever it is that I got. Well, whatever resource I hit, I only got that data. I didn't see any other data from the application. Does that make sense? So it represents like a piece of state within your application. RESTful routing just means if I'm doing a URL, right? I want to be able to establish a uniform way for everybody to be able to access and implement like by website into theirs, right? So for example, let's go to a cool website. Have you heard of this website? Espen? Yeah? Cool. If I wanted to go to say like NBA, I can click this and look what happens to the route. 
It just gets tacked on, NBA at the top, right? If I were to just take a wild guess, if I want to see all the players of the NBA, where would I go in this resource? Players? Oh my god, there they are. Lucky guess. Was it though? Probably not. Because it just makes sense that that route, that that resource, that that path was written in that way. All right? Oh look, NFL. Cool. What do you think would happen to my route when I click NFL? My God, geniuses. Geniuses. All right? So there's like a pre-agreed upon like routing. Oh, sorry. Like a pre-agreed upon like routing idea behind a lot of our websites. Does that make sense? Not everybody follows this, but this is known as like restful routing. So if I wanted to see, let's say I made an application, right? And I wanted to see, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm in Flavortown, right? I'm making a website for Guy Fieri, and he has like a bunch of nachos, right? Like just like 30 different nachos, and I want to see all the nachos that he sells. What sort of route would I hit? I'd probably hit like Guy Fieri is the best.com slash what? Slash nachos. All right? Does that make sense? And then if I wanted to click on a specific nacho, right? I mean, this is it's not gonna work, right? I'm like now I'm now getting out of control. But if I want to see a specific nacho, what would I put up here? I like a specific nacho, right? Like nacho one or something like that, right? Because remember, I want it to be dynamic. I don't want it to be too specific. I don't want to put something up here like trash can nachos, which is like a real thing, by the way. What a what an inspiring chef. But trash can nachos. Does that make sense? But if I want it to be like really dynamic, I can just put like one. And that would be the ID for nacho one. Does that make sense? And then that way I know with ID one. I can probably use some sort of active record like nacho.find with this like ID and then send back the nacho one details. Does that make sense? Like now the active record is kind of coming into play here. Yes, ma'am. I'm not understanding why one versus nacho one. You mean one versus like nacho one? Yeah. I want to send as little data as possible. Um, something that I can use to query on my back end. Because you ever like go on to a, mm, you ever go on like Bookface, right? And then like you like log in with username and password. If your username comes up here as like, I don't know, murderface, right? That's probably not a good user experience. But at the same time, right? Another thing is important is like, you ever try to book an appointment online or like sign into a bank app? or like work anywhere and they're like, hey, what's your employee ID number? And you're like, great. Also, coincidentally happens to be my social security number. I don't want that kind of data in my URL. I only want like generic information that can't be hacked in any way because the URL is pretty, pu pretty public, right? So if I just put like Nacho One, then I know what that is on the back end and I can do something with that information. That information is useful to me but not necessarily useful to like hackers or anyone trying to like probe my website maliciously. Does that make sense? So this is kind of the convention that we've all agreed upon for anyone that uses RESTful routing. Does that make sense? So is RESTful routing like a best practice? Because everything would have to follow that with using about resources and paths to get to certain places on a website. So is RESTful routing just following this convention of like that is correct. RESTful routing, right, is just a convention that we've agreed upon mostly to use for either Sinatra or for Rails. That's really about it. You can break convention anytime you want. But for now, when I teach things to you in terms of like getting CRUD up and running, RESTful routing is going to make a lot of sense. Cool? Speaking of which, let's do it. Cool. So if I wanted to view information, Right? Let's say I'm making a book app. Right? Hint, I'm going to make a book app. Um, and I wanted to see in this, right? I have like www.bookapp.com like, you know, slash what? 
What do I want to see for an individual book app? Probably want to go under my books first, right? And I want to see like one or two or three, right? Like book with an ID of three, something like that. Just exactly like we just discussed. But this time, I'm going to change it up and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put ID in here. What this is saying is that I'm going to pass in an ID. Whatever that ID winds up being, I will figure out what to do with that information later. Right? I can probably do book.find with this ID and get the details of the book, right? which we will be doing very soon. So if I were to just talk about RESTful routing and convention, it doesn't matter the domain name. All I'm looking for here is just like that path that follows, the resource that follows. Cool? Any questions on why I did books slash ID? To find the details of an individual book. Okay, it gets easier. Don't worry. If I wanted all of the books, all right, what route would I go to? Slash what? So smart. This class is so smart. If I wanted to create a new book, this is the tricky one, right? Remember, we want to do all the CRUD functionality, right? So now this is essentially read, right? I want to like show everything here. And then I want to show maybe like one specific one, but that's kind of the spectrum of it, right? If I could show one and I could show all, I probably have the ability to show some, but let's not talk about that right now. Let's just talk about one and all, and let's talk about like the rest of the CRUD functionality. So the first thing is for CRUD is create. How would I create something? What route would I go to if I wanted to make a new book? Books, right? Because this is the resource I'm talking about. I'm talking about books right now. And I want to make a new one. Cool? Wow. It's tough. It's tough. These developers are, are smart. Here's the weird thing about like creating a resource. When you do something like b equals book.new, what do you have to pass in here? Right? Like cool title. Right? You need some sort of parameters. You need the information from the user when making a new book, right? So in order to get information, how did we do it before? Back in mod one, what do we use? We use like a gets.chomp, right? Do you want to be building command line applications forever? No, right? What we want, what we want to be building is like in the browser. So in the browser, I need a way to get user's input. How would I get user's input? All right, a form. Cool. So this is one request. Thank you for that, my hero. That's one request, right? I made a get request. Oh, you heard that? My voice cracked. Oh, God, I feel like a child. Um, I need to show some sort of form in order to get the user's input. All right, so this form is probably like, hey, welcome to Wangtron's library. Um, you want to make a new book? It's like, great. And then a form comes up that says, what is the title of this book? All right? I'm going to click some sort of button that says, like, great, I'm going to put in the title, and it's going to be like, great, um, I don't know, The Art of War. It's a very original book made by me. And then... I'm going to click create book. And then the server is probably going to do something in the back end. All right? So this first request is just the form. Cool? It's just the form. When I submit that data, what kind of HTTP verb am I looking for here? So this first one's a get, right? And this second one will be a post to what? books, right? Because right now I'm trying to send that data from the form, right, which is a post request, to the resource known as books. And in here, I'm probably going to be doing, hold on, I'm probably going to take, right, this is going to like take the input from form, and then here I'm going to use the input to put into book.new 
right? And then I'm just going to string interpolate some sort of like book data. Don't worry about the syntax right now. Just understand like kind of conceptually what's happening, all right? So the get request is going to show me a form, and then the user is going to submit the form, which is going to be a post request to the server, and then the server is going to do something with that information, probably like book.new, and then what? And just by great, you made a new book, and just stop. Probably save, right? So also like save to database, and then what? Once it's done saving, what's it going to do? It's probably going to show you the book now, right? So I'm going to redirect you to this page. All right? So if I'm going to show you the book, I probably want to call this my show. If I just name it, it would be show. All right? Just conventionally speaking, all of my books would be something called index. Don't expect you to know that, but expect you to know that from here on out. Right? When I talk about like all of my research, like I want to see all the nachos, that's going to be my nachos index. When I see all my books, that's going to be my book index. When I want to learn about just one nacho, trash can nachos, that's going to be my show page for nacho one. Does that terminology all like make sense? Cool. So this is going to redirect you to the show page for book. Any questions on this whatsoever? You guys like sleepy from lunch, had a big lunch? You know, like nap time, you guys want a break? You guys want like a five minute break? No? Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm talking to myself already. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, oh, hello. Welcome class, good, perfect. So in my create book, how many requests do I need to complete this creation? Two, right? In my edit book, probably something similar. I need to show the form to take in the user's input to be like, hey, look, listen, book one, The Art of War, that's a terrible title. I want to rename it to Despacito. <laughs> I don't know why, but let's just say I do, right? I need the form to get that user input, right? So I need a new request, and what kind of request would it be? Put, patch, delete, or get? Patch. Patch, right? I led you there and I tricked you. I played tricksies on you. First thing is I need the form. So I need a get request to the form to edit. And what is the route for this? Book slash edit? Why would I need ID? I need to know what book I'm editing, right? Am I editing book with the ID of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three
Hmm? Books? <laughs> slash ID, because I need to know the right one. Do I need anything else out of this? Do I want to put like a slash update? I mean, if I'm doing a patch, I'm already updating, right? Do I need to like double update this thing? No, right? So I can just do books ID, a patch to books ID. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that make a sense. That make a sense to me, right? Cool. What about, what was that? Was that? Was it though? <laughs> was it? <sighs> you'll, you'll get Jason. Jason's like, he'll talk to you with like his hands. It's crazy. Um, anyways, oh, I see what you're laughing at now. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Good one. Good one. Um, great. So I want to delete this book now, right? That book was trash. I'm scrapping it, no thanks. What do I need to do here? Do I need to show a user a form here? No. Do I need to get? Well, let me think about this, right? When you see something, just from your normal user experience on something, and it's like, hey, great, um, you have all these things, let's delete it. What do you see on your page? Just a button, right? It's just a button that says delete. Forget that noise, do you want to delete it? It's just a button, right? What do you think that button does? It just deletes. So do I need some sort of form here? Not really, right? So that being said, would it be a get request if I'm trying to delete something? Remember, how many HTTP verbs did I talk about this morning? Five, right? If we have put and patch, counts as update. We have get, for like getting information, receiving and reading, with post to create new, which one am I missing? All right, cool, I don't know why I used thumb for that one, but sure, all right. Uh, it's a delete request to where? Slash books, but we need a specific one. Cool? So this right here, this delete to slash books ID, this patch, this get, this is a get, sorry. All right. This is all the RESTful routes. How many are there? Seven. Yep, that's right. There are seven. I don't know who said that. Genius, right? You have one, right, for the show. Two for the money. Three, no, all right. One for show, two for index. Then you have another two for this create functionality, right? Because you have a get to new and then a post to books. For edit, you have a get to the book ID and then a patch to that book ID. And then you have the delete. Are there any questions on the seven RESTful routes, kind of where they came from and what it is that they do? Yes, sir. Yep, I would patch something if I'm just trying to set one attribute within a certain row to like nil or something, right? And like, let's just say you had like a bookface account, and for whatever reason, your name is like um, Evans Wang, and you had a nickname called Wangtron. And then one day, like a really mean boss came up to you and was like, don't call yourself Wangtron, that's a stupid name, great. I'm gonna go put a patch request to my nickname and just put nil. Yeah, high school, high school Evans Wang. Mm -mm. I'm a grown man now, right? Yeah, I wouldn't delete the whole record. Cool? Does that make sense? Yes. Put. Put and patch are almost interchangeable, but they do different things, if you remember from this morning's lecture, right? That's absolutely correct. And then what do we say was like sort of the default? Right. Because it just makes more sense. More often than not, you're just editing a small part of like a row in your database than just like trying to wipe that whole thing and put in like a new one. Cool. 
All right. So any questions on RESTful routing? It's not bad, right? It's not bad. It kind of makes sense. Cool. So again, part of this is going to be like this pretty extensive readme. We're going to talk about like Swabots here. So we're going to talk about the MVC. Frameworks like Sinatra. Convention over configuration. Who has an idea of what this means and why this might be useful to us? It's a wild guess. Sure. Like uh, best practices versus convention. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to be building so many CRUD apps for you. All right. Like you're familiar with CRUD now when I keep saying it. Create, read, update, and delete. I'm going to build so many for you that like by next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every single day I'm going to build a new CRUD app for you. You're going to be like, yo, I'm done. I'm done with CRUDing it up, man. No more CRUD. Because all of this is, what? Essentially no-brainer logic. Right? Like once you know how to do the CRUD, that's when you want all your cool custom features. Once you build out these four main components to your application, now it's like, oh man, I want my users to also be able to do this. Right? Oh, I also want to be able to do this. So I'm going to like drill into you. CRUD, RESTful routing, because it's designed to be boring, because it's supposed to be fast and easy, so that you can then do everything else you want to do. Why do you want to spend time doing something that is like basic and boring? You ever like set up something? Like, you ever like tutor a kid in like math or something? And you're like, great. And you set up all these math problems. Every single time you have to do on like a board or a piece of paper, 4x7 equals. Wouldn't it be nice to just put underline x underline equals underline? But then copy and paste that like 40 times. So all you do is put in the numbers. How tired would you be writing like 9x? three equals. You have to put in the x and the equals every single time. That'd be tiring and boring. You understand what I'm saying? Do like, did that like make sense to you at all? If I can just extract away the x and the equals, all you have to do is put in the numbers that you want. Then you can get crazy and just put like 17 and 11. You're like, ooh, wow, double digits. Whoa. All right? Like you can have more features. Cool? All right. Sweet. We're going to talk about model, controller, views, um, params. We'll get to like next time, so I'll just delete that. And then uh, rest and crud. Cool? File structure for Sinatra. Any questions so far? Probably not because I just haven't explained anything yet. Yeah. Cool. So the first thing you want to do when you get a new application is... Okay, yes, the README. Thank you for that. Um, we're in the README right now. Right? Is understand how the application works. So let's take a look. Boop, here we are in app. All right? Folder called adapters. Here's this what this is doing. All I'm doing is I have a module with the class name of adapter. And all it's gonna do is it's gonna hit this Google API. Cool. I have a reader for author. It starts with the author and it runs something called author sanitizer. What author sanitizer is going to do is, who's seen gsub before? What does gsub do? Uh, uses that pattern to parse the string. Okay. Yeah, right? It's really close, all right? But what gsub is really doing is it's going to take some sort of regular expression. Right? And a regular expression, to sum it up in a nutshell, is just, I'm looking for some sort of pattern. Right? That's all I'm doing. I'm either finding for like four numbers in a row, like three letters in a row, or like, you know, patterns like phone numbers, social security numbers, credit cards, email addresses. Right? There's something like cool at awesome.com. Right? There's like a pattern there. There's like some letters, followed by an at, followed by something, followed by like a dot com, dot edu, dot net, dot something. Right? There's like a pattern there. So I'm finding right, this pattern, whatever this pattern is, it's not really important right now, and I'm replacing it with an empty string. Cool? So like, let's just say, for example, um, my author 
had like a bunch of weird special characters in there. And I don't want those special characters to come back. I can just grab them all in this pattern finder and just replace them with an empty string. Cool? Any questions on that? Class so smart. Anyways, all I'm doing is I'm going to run something called fetch books. It's going to go through each of these book items and it's going to take in the data that I got from the URL, volume, info, and title, right? The key of info and key of title, then the key of info and key of description, and I'm going to assign the attributes title and snippet. So I'm going to have a bunch of books with titles and snippets. Any questions on this? This is moving kind of fast from mod one, right? Okay. I have a book model. Pretty, pretty simple, yeah. Okay, cool. I have config environment, right? It's just gonna take everything from app. It's gonna make my database from SQLite 3. I have my config RU, which is gonna run application controller. All right, I haven't gone there yet, and we'll see what it is in a little bit. Pretty standard gem file. This just gives me pry, my rake file, and then the readme that we know and love. Huh? Sweet, so let's take a look at application controller. First thing you see is what? Right, it's pulling from something called Sinatra base. Cool. So this right here, this inheritance, allows me the framework for Sinatra. This is where it's coming in from. Are there any questions on like where Sinatra kind of comes in? Okay, so the controller, like we said, is the go-between, right? I want to do something um, like show, do you remember when I did like a rack up and then there was like that weird image of this dude like this? All right, so where would you say that route would be when I did localhost just 9292? I put nothing else in there. If I had to put it in a string, right? Let's just take a look. Cool. Is there anything that follows here? Nothing, right? So if there's nothing that follows, it's some sort of like slash, right? What kind of request is this? Post, delete, what is it? It's get request, right? So I'm gonna do a get request to slash, and that's going to do something. Why does that not look right? It's okay, we'll figure it out. And when I get to slash, I want to send back what? Remember, the client just made a request to get, right? A get request to slash. Now I'm in charge of the server. This server needs to send back a response. What is that response going to be? Huh? I could just, I could probably send back like hello or something. Like sup, sup bam. All right, let's check it out actually. Maybe it'll work. Boop, boop, boop. Cool, let's spin up the server. How do we spin this one up? Oh, so you have done the work. Cool, and it's just on port 9393 now, right? Cool, so if I go to port 9393, what do I see? Hmm. Oh, it doesn't know what hello is. Oh, you can't do it. Sinatra, got me good, got me good. So we're going to do something else, right? Just kidding, normally you can, but either way. I wanna send back HTML, right? That's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes, actually, that should work. There we go. Sorry. I was looking for like a variable or method. Hello. Embarrassing. Cool. <laughs> All right. So, like, does everyone understand what just happened? Why, when I went to slash, it gave me hello? Are there any questions on this so far? All right. Nothing wild. All right. All I'm telling it is it. If there's a get request to slash, I'm just gonna send back hello. Cool? Who has heard of something called ERB? What is ERB? <laughs> it's just embedded Ruby, all right? So I can have a file called home, right? Because that's what slash is, right? Slash is like the home page, all right? So I'm just naming it home for now. I can name it home.erb if I wanted to, but there's no point. So like, it's just gonna render this HTML. 
So what's happening? What do I need now? Sure. So here we've seen just a little bit of what's happening here, right? We have a controller, we have a model, and we have views, right? The model we took over, I mean, we took a look at already. Same thing for mod one, right? It represents my database using ORM magic, and it's just going to be able to allow me through active record to query book.first, book.all, book.last, right? Like all that active record stuff, right? So the controller, again, is like the go-between. When the user makes his get request to slash, I'm going to send it back a view. I'm going to send back the HTML that the user is expecting. So in this views, I need some sort of file called home.html.erb. Right? We've been using this format for so long that HTML is implied. So I'm going to embed Ruby inside HTML, but here, because we're in the future, I can just use .erb. Is there any questions? This just lets me know that I will be sending HTML, but I will also have the ability to write some Ruby in there. Cool? Let's do that. So I can just have an h1 tag. So when you do like any of the tags, you can do like h1 and press tab. It'll build it for you. Cool. Like if I put p tab, it'll build it for me, like a p tag. Cool. So h1, just for now, I want something like home page, right? With these freaking big guns, gains, right? Just throw a cookie in there too. Cool. So now I should see an error. What's happening here? Not yet, not yet. So, all right, something I want to introduce to you in mod two is called EDD. All right, you learned about TDD in mod one, test driven development. So, mod two is a lot of this EDD, error driven development. <laughs> yes, you will look at errors and be like, huh, wonder what it's asking for, and then build your code off of that. Because Sinatra and Rails are framework that's designed with that convention over configuration, there's a very specific way it wants you to write this code. And so if you have an idea of what you want, right, you plug it in, it will kind of guide you like, hey, did you mean this? Or like, hey, you're missing this, right? Learn to read those error messages because errors are your friend, cool? So what does this seem to say? It says that error, right, no file, right, exists in MVC app controllers views home.erb. Why would it say that? Yeah, saved it. It's thinking, remember, follow this file structure. It's thinking that under app, under controllers, there's a view folder. Let's take a look at our app actually. Under controllers, is there a view folder? No. So by default, it's thinking that the controller is handling sort of like everything, which is not really the case. So we'll have to tell Sinatra specifically, I want to set the views into a folder under apps views. So under app, I have a folder called views. And now there will be something called home. Cool? So let's take a look. Bam! Oh, wait, do any of what? Don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> but I appreciate, I appreciate you. But let's take a look at this inspector, right? What's happening here? It just says HTML. There doesn't seem to be like a doc. There's nothing in this header, which is kind of, kind of trash, to be honest. Right? But we'll get to that later, right? I'll lecture you more tomorrow on about like um, pulling in like the doc type, the head tag, and all this other stuff. And Rails will do that for you automatically, but it's good to like understand kind of what's happening under the hood in, in Sinatra first. Cool. But for right now, in theory, yeah, you could just like look, like, you could just like have this H1 tag and that be the only thing. It will technically work. This is not the best user experience, but again, building blocks. All right. Just want to show you how this works. Cool. 
So the next thing is, all right, is there any questions on like this slash root, slash home, what this ERB is doing? So like uh, you set the views with that, um, yeah, this syntax, yeah. I, I had it written already, yeah. um, but this doesn't like, it would just be like this. You'd have to like just know it. Is, is there, uh, could you set that path inside the get method? You mean like in here? I can, but unfortunately, right, in this get, right, this is just a method. Get just takes uh, argument. And what that means is if I put this inside here, I'd have to put it inside every other route because of scope, right? It doesn't know this outside of this method. Inside this do end, I'm going to set the view, which means that for my index, which I'm like about to build right now, it's not going to get the set view. If I put it here, it's almost in like this global scope where everything inside this class is going to be able to get the set views. Yes? Oh, you guys like shortcuts, huh? <laughs> ah, figured. All right, if you hold command control and then just press up or down, it will do this. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the default for Sinatra is under controller, yes. We want to explicitly tell it not to do that because that's not how Rails is set up and we're just trying to ramp you up to Rails. Rails, 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 Rails. Yeah, no? Cool. Just me by myself. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Feel like a psycho. So the next thing we want to do is like make all these books, right? I called the, all the books what? Cool? Index, right? Does that like bother anybody? Like in the big screen? I'm over here just like I'm screen mirroring, so it's like totally fine for me. Okay? <laughs> sure. What do we say this route was? Hmm? Just just slash books over here, just like this? Cool. Alright, let's let's follow this like convention here, right? What kind of uh, request is this? Is this like a post put patch delete? Get, cool. Boop. Cool. And that's going to do what? You're going to forget this do a lot. And then you'll probably forget the end. You'll also forget the slash. If you do like just books, it'll be like, huh? It'll be weird. Slash books, yeah? Cool. And what do we want this to do right now? For now, let's just put indexor for funsies, all right? Just to test it, all right? I think Mike Chang probably went over this a lot. Short feedback loop. Right, we write a little bit of code, we test it. Write a little bit of code, we test it. Because once you write a ton of code and then something doesn't work, you're like, oh, okay, great. And you start going bug hunting and that becomes painful. So, how would I hit that? So smart. Cool. Indexor. Nice. All right. But what I really want to do is I want to send back that ERB of. Uh, we can call it books, right? That's a bit redundant. But what is this in terms of the RESTful routing? Oops. We can just do index, All right? Books will work. Doesn't really matter what it is because guess who's going to wind up naming it? This guy, right? Or you, doesn't matter, All right? Under views, because we set at views, we need something. If you press A when you're just clicking it, it'll open up like new file. Index.herb. Yeah? And all this is gonna be is index that page. Good answer. Like Wheel of Fortune. Okay. <laughs> nice. Alright. Um, for now, let's just leave this alone, right? So in the application controller, right? A get to slash books is a get request. The client is going to go to slash books, right? And then now, as the server, I need to process some data, and I need to send that back over to the client. As the server, I'm processing data, and I'm going to send it back. So what do I need again? 
all the books? How do I get all the books from my model? How do I get all my books? Hmm? How would I do that? Great. Good job. Right? Booked out all. Right? Cool. And this is coming from where? Yeah, the book model, right? And that's inheriting from active record. So I can do something like at books equals to book.all. The reason I want this magic instance variable is because what does this look like right here? All right? So that means that application controller is a class. So if I have an instance variable, I can pass that instance variable through to my view. It gets really complicated, and I'm going to go dive a little bit deeper into this um, later this week and as we get into Rails. But for now, all you need to understand is the instance variable has the magic to go from controller into the view. As I pass it into the ERB, the data will go through. Without this, I cannot pass it to the view. Okay? That's all you really need to understand right now. So whenever you go Oops. to uh, not really. Under config.ru, it's a running application controller. All right. um, I only pointed out that it's a class because I wanted it to be more relatable to you from mod1 as an instance variable. All right. Um, because if it was a class variable, it would be accessible to the class of application controller. Here we're running the application controller. So when you see it through, um, through params, and we're going to go into this um, tomorrow, but when I do the form and I show you params, and like when a user actually sends data through a form, I will show you like the application controller and the instances and like where that session is coming from. It's a lot of words right now. But for right now, you just need to understand that with this magical at as the instance variable, this index has access to at books, which is actually all my books. Cool? Right? So if that's true, then index must have access to at books. What does this look like? Does this look like valid HTML to you? What language is this? Cool. Bet you want to know how to do this, right? Cool. So, does anyone know what this is? What these are? Some people call them ice cream cones. <laughs> and I'll explain what that is, right? Um, some people call them carrots. I call them ice cream cones because, like, if you look at it, it just it looks like a little cone right here, and then like two scoops of ice cream. Either way, huh? What these are is just, hey, HTML, I'm about to write Ruby real quick. Oh, am I going over? No. You just want to say hi? Yeah, just say hi. Hi, and this is Andrew, ladies and gentlemen, the Mod 3 instructor. I, Sinatra right now. It's, okay. ugh. Maybe seven. Okay. All right. Seven minutes. All right. Can you hang with me? Yep. Cool. All right. So, actually, you know, let's, let's see if that's. All right. Ready? Here we go. Seven minutes. Let's do it. So, if I put this equals, that means that it will show up on the page. If I do not put the equals, it will not show up on the page. So, at books is really book.all, which again, if you remember mod one is just an array. So I can do something like each do with a book because they're just a collection of book objects, right? If I open it, I must end it, right? Because again, I don't want this each and I don't want this end to show up, so I'm going to ignore it. But I do want this to show up. And for now, I'm just going to book.title. So when I get back this HTML, I'm probably going to put in like a p tag the book.title. Did you see that? So this will not show up, this will not show up, but inside a p tag will be every single book title. 
So let's find. Yeah. You tell me. They're going to have their own p tag, right? Because it's a each. Right? So my first book, I'm going to have a book tag, second book. But I, should I see anything here? I seeded the database earlier, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to like fake it out here. I have a bunch of books, right? I could have easily done this and then just did a, was it rake console? Cool, cool. And in here, oh dang, dang, oh dang. Sorry, that did not work out the way I thought it would. So let's plus this up real quick. My rake console. I can do book.all, and I will see all my books. I see it earlier from the Google adapter, right? So like book.first. Any questions on like where this data came from? All right, cool. Good deal. Shotgun! So I have all of these now, right? Jordan is the best. Oh, man, yeah. I'm so dumb. Jordan's like a student from the last class. I was like, can we just make a new book? I was like, yeah, I'll show you. So. All right. Cool beans. Any questions on like this index, right? And how I did this dot each with the book title and was able to show all of them. Very similar to like the rack from earlier this morning, right? Where I like interpolated all of them. But this time the interpolation looks a little bit different. Yes, sir. Do you want this to show up on your page? No, you're just telling what to do with that, right? Exactly. So the equal sign is what will actually render onto the page. Gotcha. If I hide it in the background, act a little sneaky, then uh, it won't come up on my HTML. Cool? Yeah. But that one we have to have the ice cream cone, which is fine. Otherwise, you just open it through the close of five, but then it won't show. It will read three, and it will basically finish oh. here. Yeah, so I need to like tell every single line where, where it is that I'm doing Ruby. Cool? Any questions on just the index, how I got at books, where book.all came from, how I pass it into the view from my controller? Cool? All right, let's do this individual book, right? And what did we say this route was again? Right? And this is do, and this is end. Cool. Any questions? Let's check this real quick. Who's seen this? Binding pry. Cool. What do you think will happen when I do books slash ID? It'll probably hit the binding, right? Pause my code. Sweet. So let's go to books slash one. Okay. It's loading. It's hanging. Why? So I'm probably stuck in the binding over here. It hasn't sent the response yet. I made a request, and the server's like, whoa, wait a minute. Let me take a minute. And it's just like waiting. Cool? Because I'm the server now. I am the server now, right? So what is params? Right? It's just short for parameters to see what comes through. Here we have something called ID of one. Where could that have possibly come from? Well, I named this ID and then I passed in one. Mystery solved. But let's prepare, right? Let's say I put something. Cool. What is params now? ID of something. So that symbol, right? This right here means that I'm going to interpolate something in here. Whatever value comes across is going to come across as my params value. That makes sense? So I can, if I wanted to, name this like, I don't know, what's something cool? Godzilla? Godzilla, right? And I was like, okay, just, just continue. Okay, just kidding. Okay. <sighs> God, kill me. Just kidding, All right? If I wanted to put something like what's a, a like a word Mothra Mothra 
Am I in the same universe here? Cool. Yeah. And I check params. Godzilla with the key of Mothra. Do you understand where each one of these things is coming through as? All right. So Godzilla comes from here. So it's nice if I just put ID. And it'd be really nice. Um, let me just exit out of here. If I just put one. Now I have params. All right. Hmm, this ID. How do I get this ID out of here? I can just ask for its ID. And I get one. So I can probably do book.find with params. So now I'm not hard coding one in there anymore. All right? It's whatever the user puts in as that ID. I should be able to get that book. Just kidding. There is no book with an ID of one. Where are all my books? Oh, ID of 40? Great. Now I look dumb because I seeded my database a long time ago. Sweet, let's do 40. Great, a little bit of this. Cool, now I have my book. So the ID and the value is just a hash. It's got a key in. Just a key value pair, right? Params allows me to access the parameters that were passed through, right? Sorry I'm late, but you asked a lot of questions. So I get, I get a mulligan. Cool. Any questions on how I was able to get this book object from the ID? Okay. So naturally, I can probably do what? At book equals to book.find the params of ID. Any questions on this? Now I want to send back a new page called show, right? In my RESTful routing, the individual item is the show, the details. Following the convention again, show.erb. Now I have a show page and I have access to at book, which looks like HTML or Ruby. Cool. Dot title. And I probably want dot snippet. If you remember, that's like the other attribute, right? So I'm going to probably put like title snip. Okay, that sounds weird. Cool. So if I were to go to, just kidding. If I were to go to book slash 40, did I get rid of the buy bug? The, yeah, I got rid of the binding. Cool. Book's 40. I'm going to see show page with the title and the snippet. Let me throw a line break in there. It's disgusting. There we go. Title, snippet. Cool, right? So everyone understand just how that magic worked. So the goal really for the rest of the time here is to kind of build out right, the create functionality, which is going to be a get to what? Books new. Ah, let me just set you up for success. And then the second part of it is going to be a what? Create has two, remember? Post to slash books. And you need to figure it out. Cool? Don't worry, I'm going to lecture you on all this. But that's kind of like the next step here. All right? So we did index. We did show. We talked about MVC, right? Because this controller is asking the model for information. The last thing I want to show you is I'm going to tie it all back together is this GIF right here. And by GIF, I mean just image. This is just a web page, right? User is going to get to some sort of website, Google, whatever it is, books. It's going to check the route, the resource. That resource is going to hit a specific method in the controller, whether it be slash books, slash, slash books ID. It's going to hit a method. Whatever that route is, it's going to hit that method in the controller. So far, so good? That controller is going to be like, do I need more information? Like, do I need all the books, book.all? Do I need books.find by the ID? Hits the active record, right? Hits the model. Model talks to the database with book.all or book.find by. Sends it back to the controller. The controller now makes it an instance variable and passes it to the view. Now the view can do something with it, right? At books.each and then throw a p tag in there. And then, bam, 
back to the page. And that is what you see. So the client makes a request. The server, which is like essentially like your controller, does something with it, right? Through the model, whatever it is, comes back, throws it into the view. The view is the response back to the user. Request response cycle. And now we've gone full circle. Are there any questions? Great, that's all I have for lecture today, but I have a couple notes, so.